Greetings, everyone. My name is Isaac Proach, and you're listening to my thoughts on Chameleon Run Plus by Noodle Cake Games. Hopping right into this one, pun intended, we're going to be talking about an endless side-scroller, platforming, hopper type of game. It's it's a ton of fun. I think the uh, the game gameplay loop is really fun. It reminds me of sort of a, a smaller version of Super Meat Boy. You're having to react, and as your player runs across the screen, you'll be hitting... Uh, on the right side to jump, left side tapping will change the color of your character. So then, as you progress through the game, there are different color platforms introduced. You start out with uh, yellow and purple, I believe. And then from there, the game takes off mechanically. So you're going to be... Th- there's a couple different objectives. Every single course uh, has the main objective of just completing it. But then within that, you're going to be trying to get more uh, stars by completing it faster. So uh, it's a time trial with everything. And then from there, you can also... There's uh, three different objectives. Most of the levels have the same ones. And that will be whether you uh, complete the level without changing colors, complete the level and collect all of the the gems. Um, there's a couple different ones and different objectives that kind of spruce up and make it more fun. I had, I had more fun uh, kind of going back through. It, it was frustrating and kind of challenging uh, as you're playing the levels for the first time because a lot of it is just muscle memory and failing over and over again until you realize, okay, I need to tap now, react here, don't do this, take this route, and so forth. Um, but yeah, and then as you go back through, well, at one point in the game, I needed more uh, stars to progress because those stars treat are the entryway into the next levels. And so I needed 12. I had to go back through and kind of like refine and clean up some of the levels that I completed but didn't complete all the objectives. And doing that, I enjoyed a ton. It was fun to not be as frustrated but kind of like fine-tuning your skills and playing through levels that you've already completed but going for those side objectives. Uh, and yeah, so then from there, when when the game, it ramps up pretty quickly. I would say the difficulty level, even within the first world, gets pretty hard pretty quickly. And then from there, that's where I would say it just comes down to patience, repetition, muscle memory. Very similar to Super Meat Boy. And that's where I wish the art style was a little bit more unique or stood out on its own. The art style is very sort of like web, HTML, web 5, uh, I'm thinking like, flash player games it's very basic um it's polished it's not like sloppy in any way but the the art style they could definitely kind of spruce things up in my opinion and chameleon run plus i think if you're a fan of this type of game like that just re reaction challenge and testing uh your reaction time on like this endless side scroller game uh Chameleon Run Plus, definitely, I would say, if you're a fan of the genre, is a must-play. For those of you outside of that demographic, and you're not in the sort of the hardcore, quick, reactionary, challenging game that you're looking for, if you're looking for more of a cozy, chill time, I would say Chameleon Run, definitely not going to provide that. I wasn't, I was kind of on edge when playing this game, I wasn't relaxed, uh, and so therefore, yeah, just take that into consideration. The soundtrack... It is, it's good. It has same uh, just sort of ethos that I would say with the art style. I wish they did more with the soundtrack. I'm thinking like, and granted this might be in a sequel or whatever, uh, with the current game it'd be awesome if the soundtrack combined with the gameplay more. It very much was just kind of like a background track. Sound effects are polished in there throughout. I think the UI is great. But definitely was wanting more when it came to the art style and the audio soundtrack. Gameplay loop, nearly perfect and polished in that sense. I um, wouldn't say perfect, really. But anyway, not not trying to chase perfection. And um, yeah, so then when, when it came to replayability, I definitely think that's also where the game kind of lacks. Because once you get through the objectives, you clear out the side ones on the levels and you're progressing progressing through. There aren't any other main unlocks that are motivating the player or sort of like upgrades or changes to your mechanics, which is cool because it also uh, just allows you like from the very beginning of the game, you can just like, if you're good, you can pick up, up on, pick up on these mechanics. You don't have to kind of work your way to unlock a skill tree or level up different attributes that you'd be getting. Um, other than the tutorial levels where they introduce new mechanics for your player to interact with, there's not like you need this sword to get to the next level or anything like that. So, yeah, I think the simplicity is really the the charm of this. That's where it shines through. Uh, definitely a younger demographic, I think, would kind of like lose themselves to this, whereas like I'm I'm definitely more versed in different gaming experiences and I'm not going to, I'm not fiending to play Camille and Run Plus, but I think Noodle Cake Games, they do a great job of just bringing another accessible and fun game to Apple Arcade 
that is polished in so many different ways. And I think if they were to iterate from here, I would just, yeah, I would love to see more done with the art style, maybe some different themes. I, I didn't play at the, at the end of the select screen. There are, I think it's a Halloween themed one and then maybe like a space or there's expansion packs essentially that are included. I didn't play through those. So maybe it gets much more enhanced from there, but the base game world one and two Left me wanting more, and for that reason, uh, I think Chameleon Run Plus is a not not a must play for everybody, but a, but a must play for those of you that are looking for this type of game, and you have Apple Arcade, you might as well pick it up. It it's included in the subscription, so that's the joy of all of this. Thank you again for everybody tuning in, uh, whether you're listening on audio or video. I appreciate all of you, and we're just flying through season two. Uh, that, my name is Isaac Proach. Those were my thoughts on Chameleon Run Plus by Noodle Cake Games. Thanks so much for everyone tuning in. New episodes are incoming. Peace.